Happy April. I'm Catherine Martin, president and CEO of the Santa Barbara Symphony, and you have a lot of music and behind the scenes experiences available to you this month at the symphony. I'm going to share some highlights now, and I invite you to read the April e-notes below or on our website for the complete details and links to lots of interesting information. So working backwards, this weekend, April 20th and 21st, is the concert called Mahler meets Klezmer, Titans of Sound, and you will be immersed in sound, sounds of over 90 musicians on stage, including seven horns in Mahler's Symphony No. 1. Hear sounds of one of the world's most masterful soloists, David Krakauer, making his instrument sing with joy and sadness in a concerto for Klezmer clarinet, where the composer, Vlad Maraletz, inspired by the infectious klezmer rhythms and soulful melodies, wrote this piece specifically for our soloist, David Krakauer. And in Mozart's overture to the abduction from the Seraglio, you'll hear the use of drums and cymbals and triangles, evoking perhaps the sounds of Turkish military bands. Now, on Friday, April 19th, before the concert weekend, to thank all of you who are making a donation at the $300 level and above this season, you're invited to an open rehearsal to see Nier and the orchestra in action as they prepare for the weekend. And on Thursday, April 18th, as part of an artist residency, you're invited to witness the creative process in a public masterclass, watching as David Krakauer coaches our youth ensemble students and local high school students and college clarinet students. Again, all of the information is in the e-notes or on our website. Now this month, over 30,000 and counting classical music lovers up and down California got to meet our maestro. Nir was selected as a featured guest host on KUSC's Classical California, and he shared his handpicked playlist of pieces and conductors that hold special meaning to him, and he shared that with us. And if you missed it, uh, we have a link where you can listen to the recording. Now, looking ahead, do you have your tickets to May's final concerts of the season? And if you're not yet a subscriber, we have a special offer for you. Subscribe to the 24-25 season before May 18th, before the May concerts, and we'll send you a pair of free tickets to May's Rhapsody in Blue at 100 Jazz Comes to the Symphony. Now, if you are already a subscriber but have not yet renewed for next season, please remember to do so by the April 21st priority renewal deadline to secure your favorite seats again all season long and receive up to 30% off of single ticket prices and, of course, our exceptional concierge service. Again, all the details are in the April e-notes. I think, finally, uh, you may have seen that symphony orchestras have been in the news lately as music directors have resigned from prominent posts uh, and as new appointments have been announced. There's a national conversation occurring about the role of a music director and the challenges or perhaps missed opportunities that occur when a symphony's artistic leader lives elsewhere and flies in for concerts. So here at the symphony, we believe that our ability to create impact in the community is heightened because we have one, We've had a, a consistent music and artistic director in Nier Cabaretti for years, and he has an international reputation and contacts, and he's beloved by the orchestral, orchestral musicians. Two, that he and his young family call Santa Barbara home. And three, that Nier's programmatic approach, as well as his approach to music education, is expansive and inclusive and done with the intention and the awareness of the community in, that we are living in and are here to serve. And as the board and I work hard to create the resources needed to bring our community symphonic experiences that are created from and for this community, we are grateful that our artistic leader is exactly what we believe the model should be for orchestras around the country. So have a wonderful April and see you at the concerts and all of the engagement events. Thank you.